Sevilla is the capital and largest city of Spain's Andalusia region. Known for its history, stunning architecture, and lively atmosphere, it offers a unique blend of tradition and modernity. The city has seen a lot since it was first founded over 2,000 years ago, but perhaps the period of its history that defines it the most are the 500 years under Muslim rule, and that Islamic influence is still deeply reflected throughout the city. It wasn't until the year 1248 that Sevilla would eventually be captured by the Christian armies of King Ferdinand III, and it has since remained a Catholic city. This is the Cathedral of Sevilla, one of the largest cathedrals in the world and the largest Gothic church in the world. Interestingly enough, as far back as the 1100s, this building was originally a mosque until King Ferdinand III took over Sevilla and decided he wanted to make this structure a Christian symbol instead. The mosque was originally built facing Mecca, but the king said this was disrespectful to the Christian faith to have the new cathedral face the same direction as the mosque so he had it broken down and reoriented to face the other direction. The popular story is that the people in charge of building this new cathedral said that they wanted to build a church so huge the world would think they had gone mad. And looking at the end result today, it's fair to say that they achieved their goal. A stone's throw away from the cathedral is the Alcazar of Sevilla. This breathtaking palace was originally built by the Moorish Muslim kings in the 10th century and later expanded by subsequent Christian rulers. It features a stunning mix of architectural styles including Gothic, Renaissance and Mudéjar and is known for its intricate tile work, ornate ceilings and lush gardens. The Islamic architecture here is simply beautiful from the tiles and all the patterns and the calligraphy and it's crazy to think that this is Spain and not the Middle East and everything has been so well preserved it's crazy This part of the palace kind of looks like the monkey temple in Jungle Book. I think the stones look exactly the same, same kind of architecture. It's really beautiful, but it is boiling hot. Like, this is, this is insane. It's been a while since I felt sun this hot. The Alcazar is one of the most beautiful places you will ever visit and it truly is a timeless masterpiece. After my first few days of exploring Sevilla, I couldn't help but fall in love with this city. It felt like every corner was a story waiting to be discovered. The scorching summer weather, vibrant colors and charming architecture styles stand out immediately. But the more you immerse yourself, the more you get to discover what this place is really about. 
The streets are dotted with shops and restaurants, laced with the sounds of eager Spanish conversation and the smell of delicious food. And the narrow walkways always seem to transport you to unique parts of the city. It really seemed to be the perfect holiday destination. But there was still so much I wanted to know about this city. So I took to the streets equipped with my camera and some broken Spanish to ask the locals a few questions. Yo quiero saber uh, sobre la cultura de Sevilla. ¿Qué tiene de especial uh, de la cultura de Sevilla? Bueno, tiene todo. En comida, en bebida, sí. en clima, sí. en, en todo, lo tiene todo. Sí, sí, sí. La cultura, a todo el mundo lo acogemos, sí. que es lo bueno, que acogemos a todo el mundo. Sí, sí. Y poco más. Mm. Qué bellísima, ¿no? ¿eh? Sí. Pues Sevilla es una ciudad muy alegre, siempre hay ambiente en sus calles, es una ciudad donde se puede hacer cualquier actividad, sí. ya sea cultural, ir al cine, mmm, eh, pasear, eh, sí. mil cosas, siempre hay ambiente, siempre sí. eh, hay algo que hacer, eso sí. es una de las cosas que más me gusta, que sí. nunca te aburres. Sí. Sí. Pues lo que me gusta mucho de, de Sevilla es la gente, eh, las vibras que tiene, lo cariñosa que es, lo afectuosa que es y no sé, la gente es como muy graciosa, tiene mucho arte, eso es lo que me gusta mucho de Sevilla y pues eh, la apreciación hacia el, la, la cultura, la familia, eh, también el flamenco, aquí se, se aprecia mucho la feria, eh, la Semana Santa, las tradiciones, me parece eso muy, muy bonito de, de aquí de Sevilla. One thing I really like about Sevilla is that there's always something going on. It's a very artsy city and you feel that everywhere you go. People are certainly not shy about expressing themselves. Nighttime in Sevilla has a completely different vibe. Tourists and locals alike flood the restaurants and bars, helping themselves to some delicious tapas. Tapas is a Spanish culinary tradition that involves serving a wide variety of small, flavorful dishes. They are usually enjoyed with a drink and make for a popular social dining experience because everyone can just relax, sit and bond over a meal. Two minutes away from the cathedral, you will come to the neighborhood of Santa Cruz, which is the old Jewish quarter of Sevilla. It is characterized by a lot of narrow alleyways and it is a heavily residential area. There's a lot of restaurants, it's like a very bubbly place, so it is a tourist hotspot and I've heard a lot of tourists living here. I wouldn't even be surprised if this is like hostels or something like that. But yeah, very nice place. Very simple but classical, quaint architecture. It's really nice. This is the Guadalquivir River. It flows through Cordoba and Sevilla into the Gulf of Cadiz in the Atlantic Ocean. If you think the name sounds a bit Arabic, that's because it is. The original name, and I'm hoping I'm saying this correctly, was Al-Wadi Al-Kabir, which means the big river. 
Over the centuries, this river was known to overflood the banks and cause a lot of damage and destruction in the city. And because of that, the people couldn't really build a bridge. So what they decided to do was chain up some boats across the river and put a wooden plank on them so people could walk across. That happened until 1852 when that bridge behind me was built, linking the affluent city center of Sevilla with the neighborhood of Triana on the other side. Triana wasn't as wealthy as the main city center, and because of that, it had to develop its own customs and personality. Nowadays, Triana is known as where the deep culture, character, and color of Sevilla are. Afternoons in Sevilla are really quiet because from around Four, restaurants and shops start closing and everybody goes to take an afternoon siesta and then everything opens up again from around 8. It's interesting to actually see that in practice because growing up you keep hearing siesta, siesta but this is truly what it means. The first thing you notice when you come to Triana is how colorful it is. Right from across the bridge you can just see the cluster of buildings and all the colors and it, it looks really really nice. Not only is Triana regarded as the cultural hub of Sevilla, many say it is actually the birthplace of the famous Spanish art form, flamenco. Flamenco is sacred to Andalusia and it is quite the norm to find many performances like this in the streets. After a full day exploring a city like Sevilla, the only proper way to end the day is to sit down to some delicious food coupled with a glass of wine. It's in quiet moments like this that I relax and reflect on such an incredible experience in one of the world's most beautiful destinations. If I had to choose one word to describe Sevilla, it would be vibrant. From its lively streets to its rich cultural heritage and warm-hearted people, it exudes an undeniable energy that is contagious. Sevilla's vibrancy reminded me to embrace life, but more importantly, to celebrate the ability to express myself and be creative. Oh, 